Budgeting may not be that exciting, but saving money can be really exciting, especially when you score an awesome deal. And I saw your J. Crew dress that you got on the kids' oh, yes. back with an additional thirty percent off. <laughs> wow! That how'd you do right. that? Look at that! that it was a hundred right. and almost one hundred and fifty bucks, and she got it for less than seventy. Yes, and then it was an additional thirty percent off because J. Crew had a huge sale. So yeah, so and that's the thing with Christmas shopping too is if you shop in like the major season. Sales, they mark up everything so you spend more money. So if you're shopping now on the front end, you may be able to find some great deals for Christmas. Excuse my arrogance, but is J. Crew like a big deal? Oh yeah. Is it? <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know. I just you know I would say the girls, but they have great guy clothes. Yes. You can check that out. <laughs> there you go. But, but I'll get a and then you can go. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I want to know just how crazy you are about saving money. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions here, and I want to know if you would do, if you would go this crazy to save money. Okay. Would you buy clothing from the children's department as long as it fit properly and you liked the style? Oh. <laughs> <There's> people, <laughs> you should see your I mean, I guess. I never thought about that. I mean, I guess if it fits and you don't know. Why I wore like a junior section. I don't know if the children's section would fit, but the junior section, sure. Yeah, if it, if it fits, no one will know. There are people that do this. So you wouldn't be walking around in Ashbagash. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. (laughs) Avoid the glitter and bows. Superheroes. Stay crew would not accept. Stay crew would not be okay with that. (laughs) Would you eat expired yogurt from a discount grocery store? No. No. What about the bread? What about the bread thing? Because they have expired bread. Yeah. Yeah, bread's not bad. Dairy kind of freaks me out, though. Like, yeah. I feel like if you smell it and it's not good, no. Yeah, bread. I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll go a week after with bread. So there you, you go. You toast it. You toast it. You don't know the difference. Right. Stuff no, that's grown. true. Because when it's stale, yeah. it tastes toasted anyway. Yeah, that's right. Okay, how about this one? Would you cut your own hair? Oh. No. <laughs> no. No. But I would go to a, I would go to a cheaper place. Okay. You know, like like there's like salons that you can pay. You know, some people pay a hundred dollars for a haircut. Uh, but yeah, you can go somewhere more inexpensive, like pay twenty bucks. You know, some people. My husband does this. You know, you pay like six dollars at a, you know a chain kind of right. place and just get it cut. No, because I'm just not good at that. Like that would be a disaster. That would be really <laughs> really bad. Well, you can try this. The flow. But if you're good at it. Try the Floby. <laughs> Have you heard of the Floby? No. Google Floby and okay. then get yourself one off of eBay and just give it a try one day. Okay. Just one okay. day, give it a try. And put it on Instagram so we can see how that goes. Yeah. That's right. That's well, right. Here, my last question is going to hit you close to the heart because I've okay. seen on your Instagram that you have a thing about handbags, yeah. Rachel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do. So I know. would you use the same handbag for the next five years to save money? Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> I would, and I do, and I do. So, so here's the thing. I think a lot of people believe, like, living on a budget means that you can't have fun, you can't enjoy money. You can. Being on a budget, you're just in control. So you see, like, the J. Crew dress, you see the shopping bag, or the, 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 the handbags I love. But I save up for it, right? You pay for it. And, if, and for me, I'm like, I like to pay for good quality things that are going to last. And I do have some that I've had for literally five years. Um, and so that's the thing that, and, and again, with the Christmas budget, same kind of thing. You can get great gifts. You can enjoy shopping for people, but you just want to do it on a plan. So living on a budget, it's not a straight jacket. You know, you don't have to live in a cave. You can have a life. You're just living intentionally and on a plan. So, yeah. Well, we know you live on a budget and you live debt free. And so I just wondered if you would let me live out some of my Dave Ramsey dreams right now so I could count it down so you could give us a great debt-free scream. Would you do it? Yes! All right, right, here we go. Rachel Ramsey Cruz, count it down and give us a great big debt-free scream. Wait, me or you? You! You! Okay, yes, yes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. I'm debt-free! Yeah! <laughs> Rachel Ramsey Cruz, thank you so much for the time this morning. We really appreciate you and what you stand for in helping people to live a debt-free life. Oh, well, thank you guys. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it.